This is how we begin the transformation from Airman to Air Commando. And at the heart of every Air Commando lie our four priorities. Provide combat ready forces. Create an environment for our Airmen and families to thrive. Transform training and modernize and sustain. Everything we do centers around these priorities. What is the Welcome Center? The Hurlburt Field Welcome Center is the first of its kind, a consolidated, centralized function that integrates all aspects of in-processing and lays the foundation for instilling resiliency in our newest airmen. Through continuous process improvement, or CPI, our processes have evolved and served as the foundation for creating our newest air commandos. In 2013, we saw many negative trends affecting resiliency across Hurlburt Field. We had 15% of all Air Force suicides, although we only represented 3% of the total population in the Air Force. Physical training injuries were up, and utilization of health and wellness resources were anemic. Commander-directed alcohol evaluations were up, and so were alcohol-related incidents. We had a serious problem. After exhaustive research, we found similar issues and a potential solution through the Army's Wellness Fusion Center at Fort Bliss, Texas. We found that having efficient in-processing paired with enhanced resiliency programs led to a drastic reduction in their suicide rate. Our conclusion? Our team of experts deconstructed the Fort Bliss model and created a program at Hurlburt as unique as the men and women it supports. We decided that we needed to make in-processing centered at the wing level to forge pride, resiliency, and unity into every air commando right from the start. Within 30 days of commander approval and with relatively little cost, the Air Force's first of its kind welcome center was open. The goal of the Hurlburt Field Welcome Center is to efficiently and accurately in-process new members while enhancing their mental and physical resiliency. This process is crucial to the successful transition of new arrivals and the journey begins with the attitude and customer service exhibited by our personnel and finance professionals. Hi, I'm Emma Smith and I want to tell you about Herbert Fields Welcome Center. It serves as a single reception point for all of our newcomers and our team makes it happen for 1,900 members we see yearly. Come on in! Here at the Welcome Center, we ensure that our members are deployment ready through the various agencies we work with. This helps members in process and get to the fight as quickly and efficiently as they can. In the beginning, we operated on a walk-in basis, but through multiple CPI events, we found a better way to utilize our limited staff and more importantly, reduce the burden on our newest arrivals. Now, units are able to schedule, change or cancel appointments through our SharePoint site, saving everyone valuable time. During the one-on-one -on -one appointment, a personnel quickly gains the member into the unit, updates personal records, and addresses any personnel issues the member may have. They receive a packet, complete with their checklist, a trifle containing all locations, times, dates, and information on all of their in-processing appointments, and contact information, should they need any assistance. Then the newcomer will move over to finance. The one-on-one -on -one finance segment ensures our members start off with the peace of mind that the travel voucher is filed on the spot correctly the first time. Since opening the Welcome Center, our travel voucher error rate has been cut in half and now we are number one in the Air Force for voucher accuracy with an average of 98.2%. Processing saves a ton of time because now it takes just over 30 minutes to in-process the Welcome Center. As I mentioned, we schedule our members for a variety of appointments to get them on the right track. Here is an overview to show how the Welcome Center is a gateway to all of in-processing. The Commando Ready program is completely resiliency focused. Our mission is enhanced comprehensive airman fitness, concentrating on the holistic approach of our airmen and their families. This approach includes a three-tier portion of training benefits. The performance enhancement serves as the first portion, offering preventative measures and awareness on nutrition, ways to improve running techniques that can affect a member's PT score, and stress and sleep management tips. The second tier is the Mission Brief, which is a classified brief given by senior leadership where members receive a unique view of the AFSOC mission. The second tier also includes additional resilience training by master resilience trainers that offer each member additional tools to enable them to better cope with adversity and daily life stressors. The final portion of Commando Ready is the Safe Talk course. This is the first line of defense for identifying and strengthening our fellow airmen. It is suicide intervention training that focuses on removing the stigma of seeking and providing help 
and also extends the wingman concept to our members and their families. After all, our airmen are our greatest asset. Newcomers Orientation is a day-long event which makes our newcomers and their families aware of all Herbert Field has to offer. Since the stand-up of the Welcome Center, we've revitalized the program and have seen participation rise from 32% to 98%. Most other bases have a first-term Airman Center, or FTAC. Here we have taken that concept and tailored it to Herbert to make the Commando Pride Airman Center. CPAC is specifically designed to ensure that our first-term Air Commandos are equipped for the challenges of AFSOC, a unique first assignment. We work in coordination with the Welcome Center, so all of our airmen are successfully in process. The medical group has created a customer-focused program aimed at increasing the deployability of Holberg's airmen, and we call it Medical Right Start. Before an airman comes to their appointment, we transfer their TRICARE enrollment to this base and screen all six of their medical readiness categories. That way, when the member comes to the Medical Right Start appointment, they can get same-day priority access to address their overdue readiness items. So far, we've noticed a 24% improvement on bypassing redundant appointments. This means valuable time is returned to our airmen. AFSOC carries a unique requirement that all members must have a government passport, so they are ready to deploy at all times. We ensure compliance with this policy by offering four mass briefings per week, followed by individual appointments to fill out and send the application for the member. All of these different agencies come together through the Welcome Center to give our Air Commandos the start that they, along with their families, deserve. Now that we've revamped these agencies and improved our processes, we are looking forward to the future for Hurlburt Field as well as the rest of the Air Force. We didn't just stop once the Welcome Center was stood up. One CPI idea that we are currently undergoing is the development of an innovative software application which we call Virtual In-Processing or VIP. It's designed to streamline in-processing even further than we already have. This will combine all of the personnel actions into one smooth, easy-to-use program so the member's transition can be seamless. With all of the paper that we currently trade around for our inbound members, it'll save almost 10,000 sheets of paper yearly. It'll also keep all of the members' information in one place. We have also been looking very far into the future, laying our plans for a $2.9 million commons, which will combine all aspects of in-processing, including all necessary briefings, representatives, and appointments in one building. All of our CPI and innovation would mean nothing if we didn't see results. To see how far we've come, let's take a look back at our driving force, the four priorities of the 1st Special Operations Wing. Provide combat ready forces. Members are now deployment ready when they arrive at their unit. They've applied for their passport, been medically checked, and educated on the unique missions of the Air Commandos. The previous three hour mass in processing briefings were reduced to a personalized, one on one appointment, which normally lasts just over 30 minutes. The time savings provides 5,100 hours back to our Air Commandos annually. Create an environment for our airmen and families to thrive. Our sponsorship and resiliency programs have blossomed since the opening of the Welcome Center and the impacts can be seen daily on the faces of our newest arrivals. Most importantly, over the last three years, our suicide rate has drastically decreased from seven to three to one. Along with these successes, we've seen a 24% decrease in alcohol-related incidents and a 42% decrease in commander-directed referrals. Transform training. Commanders now receive a deployment-ready air commando who has an understanding of the unique requirements of the Special Operations Mission. As you've seen, we've instituted the latest in preventative training tools in the areas of health and wellness, resiliency skills, and suicide prevention to transform our airmen into better equipped, more resilient air commandos. Modernize and sustain. The Welcome Center has become a key stop for U.S. SOCOM and Air Force leaders. Headquarters Air Force has expressed great interest in benchmarking our Welcome Center and implementing it Air Force-wide. They've recognized how the integration of key resiliency programs, streamlined in-processing, and efficient technological processes reduce stress, improve overall wellness, and modernize how airmen in-process an Air Force installation. We've witnessed firsthand the impact an accurate and efficient in-processing function can provide our newest members and their families. Furthermore, the resiliency instilled during in-processing has simply made us better. 
We believe the innovations throughout all Welcome Center functions have made us the standard of Air Force in processing. The Hurlburt Field Welcome Center, the first step of transforming our airmen into air commandos.